Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is a timeless card reading for the intention of knowing whatever it is that you need to know right now. Now you can approach this in a couple of different ways. You can choose one stack and that would be your message or you can tune in. This is a practice in intuition. Tune in, feel which pile you're kind of drawn to and see if there's a second one that is also your message, but maybe a secondary message, okay? And every time you decide to come on back to this video, again, it is timeless. See what your intuition tells you. So from left to right, we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. So tune on in and see which pile or piles are calling out to you. Okay, so if you chose pile number one, let's see what your cards are. So we have as you write, get laser focused. So especially if you are focusing or working on a project, this is saying to get to the truth of the matter. So this is very important. This is being truthful about what it is that you actually want. So it might not be what you had anticipated, right? So maybe you got into a project and you're like, you know what? No, I don't want to abandon it necessarily. I don't want to move on to something new but I have to be truthful. I'm not approaching this in the way that I would like to. And so this might be a little bit of you changing course, but again, Azure, it's all about speaking truth, an intuitive truth, okay? So it is a blending of the throat chakra and the third eye chakra. So get laser focused, get clear on what it is that you want. You can always work with Archangel Michael to help you gain clarity in any situation. And that usually involves doing some bit of a clearing. Then we have Golden Healer Quartz, open the door. All right, so this is the time to open the door to opportunity. Yes, so for some of you out there, you're in manifestation mode and you know, these past months have maybe made you realize that the, like I said, the path you're going down needs some tweaking, yes? but maybe you have been thinking, oh, those kinds of things are only set for people who can do X, Y, and Z, right? And then you realize, well, hey, <laughs> we are in the internet age and I can go off and learn anything that anybody else has learned if I give it some time and I put some effort behind it, yes? So improving your skills, being truthful with yourself, being honest about what it is that you truly want, not what other people tell you that you should want, and there's this healing quality to that. There's a big, big burden that gets released. And now all of a sudden you're in the flow. Now you're able to enjoy your very existence. How nice is that, <laughs> right? So enjoying what it is that you are actually doing. So let's get this next one here. I do have kind of a small reading cloth here. So I have to kind of move them around a little bit. This little guy does not want to stay <laughs> up. All right, so then we have fluorite, which I want to start off by saying is a very abundant crystal. So, so far, look at what's going on here. We have, hey, as long as you admit to yourself what it is that you want and you get laser focused. Now, that doesn't mean manifesting from just the mind. This is something that you want heart and soul, okay? Then you're sort of opening the door for yourself, yes? So you're creating your own opportunity here. Maybe someone notices and offers you a deal, right? It could be something like that. Um, or just because you're enjoying your existence so much, you're enjoying what you've chosen to do, that makes you feel abundant, yes? An abundance of joy. So anyway, the card says, fluorite, find peace within. So this is that, all right, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep fighting against the grain, going against the grain here. I'm not gonna keep fighting against my intuition, my instincts, what I've always known I, I wanted to do. I can be abundant when I follow my heart's desire. It very much has that kind of feel. Let's get this other card going here. All right, let me get these in here a little bit better. Pardon me, pardon me, Just please stand by. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put this guy right here. And it is red jasper, take action. Yes, you are in charge of your own destiny. You are in charge 
of how you approach your day to day. You're in charge of your own happiness and your sense of abundance. And it's right there for you, okay? So there's no reason why you can't go for the thing that you want. Now, take action. Red Jasper is very grounding. It's very root chakra, material manifestations. But take action doesn't mean I go out and I push and I become that person that knocks on everyone's door and tries to get them to see me. But this is taking action within your energetic field. Yes? So releasing any sense of uh, my success has to look like X, Y, and Z. It has to look like this or it's not going to work. No, you're letting that go and you're feeling the sense of anything is possible. Feel that in your body right now. Not just in your mind, throughout your whole body. Take a deep breath in. Anything is possible. Anything I dream of can become a reality. But remember, we want to keep our dreams very grounded. That's how we go from inspiration to third dimensional ego consciousness manifestation by being grounded. So this, with the abundance of the fluorite, we got that golden healer quartz, like something is really, really <laughs> coming together for you, but you have to be entering this in, into this with a, a nice intention, I guess is what we're getting at here. Now, I do have several more cards for us. So oh, yes, I do. Are you gonna be able to see that? Forgive me guys, I'm trying new camera angles here, so I wanna make sure that everything is nice. Okay, <laughs> as much as we can. So we have here beauty. This is orchid, yellow tiger, swallowtail is the butterfly, if that has extra meaning for you. But this is asking you to tap into the beauty of life. What makes things beautiful for you? We always work outside in. We're getting into very different times now where it's asking us to take a different approach, okay? So opening the door here has to do with you opening your own heart. That's the open door. That's where the inspiration is. That's where all the answers are and uh, the way forward. And you're creating that for yourself. And look at this, it's right, the way I've kind of landed it, didn't think about it, but <laughs> the way I landed it is here's the beauty in that. There's beauty in your healing. There's beauty in you realizing your self-worth. We have to start from the inside out. And we have to be patient. There's a lot of patience that goes along with this where, you know, we can get it in our head that I want a new job. I want a new love partner. I will be doing a separate love reading. So you can check that out on my channel. And also please make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. That helps me out a ton. And I thank you so much. And if you'd like a personal reading, just go to angelsouls444.com. So there is absolute beauty in you believing in yourself and opening up to your own potentials. That's what this is. So why don't we work with Archangel Shamuel as well? Shamuel is all about helping you find your self-love, helping you find your potentials, and helping you find what's right for you right now. So if you have a goal of being a CEO, <laughs> like we were talking love, um, if your goal is to find love or to have another career, or you are looking for literal healing, you know, this is a good indicator. There's some beautiful thing that comes about for you. Um, but if you are wanting to be that CEO, maybe, you know, if you got into it right now, you'd be like, oh, this is not what I thought it would be, <laughs> right? There could be a little bit of a journey there. And that, that is where the beauty lies as well. All right. So here is this card right here. And this card is inspiration. <laughs> the inspiration is in your heart. And it is, can I, here I can't see this with the lights on it. Uh, lupine and goat weed leaf wing. So there is that. Look at these beautiful colors here. Look at how there's purple. So that's sort of the crown chakra and then red, which is root chakra. Here's yellow with your solar plexus. Okay. So Get in touch with your own inspiration. You, like we said before, you are in charge of your very own happiness. Get on in there, know your worth, get excited about whatever it is that you're working towards, whether it's a goal of a relationship, a project. You know, this is very well aspected for anybody who might be doing something outside of like the day-to-day -day job, a side project, 
you know, that sort of thing. So be very aware of that and uh, let that inspiration flow. Don't ignore it, <laughs> right? Do not ignore it. And let's see what our chakra card is. This, by the way, is the crown chakra. I did a weekly with this, and for some reason I thought that was indicating the soul star chakra, but no, it's the crown chakra. Makes sense. It's, <laughs> it's in the picture. All right, so the number is 29 in case you are into numerology. It does reduce to 11, which is a master number. You are in a time of self-mastery. You are in a time of not just making something, again, outside of you happen, but learning your co-creative abilities. Okay, and the card is spiritual awakening. So what's really happening here, the project, the goal, the dream, the inspiration, whatever that might be for you, it all comes down to your soul growth. And it's awakening a new kind of awareness in you. And it's helping you see your own truth, what your actual purpose is. And yes, this is incredibly healing. I see like a golden light coming around you. Now, if you're listening to this and you're still coming from a place of ego, not going to go well for you. <laughs> it's just not going to go well for you. So you want to be very, very aware of keeping the ego out of it, staying in touch with the heart. Why not enjoy everything that you're doing? Why would we want to ruin a beautiful moment? by saying, oh, but it doesn't look like what somebody else has. Oh, but I should be doing this at this age. Oh, I should just give up. Oh, I'm too young, I'm too old, I'm too this, I'm too that. Do you truly feel that way? Or would that be conditioning from outside of you? This is asking you to tap into your higher wisdom. And there is a bolt of clearing, <laughs> clearing truth, self-revelation, self-healing, happiness, joy, beauty, grace, inspiration. But how do you make it happen? Right here. Oh yes. By being grounded and taking action for yourself. All right, guys. So I hope that was helpful. All right. So if you chose group two, let's see what we have for you. Okay, so the first card out here is Ocean Jasper. This is a beautiful card because this is all about you creating the picture of life that you want to have for yourself. The thing with it is though, is that it has to be anchored in what's good for your soul, what's right for your soul's path, yes? And it can't be something that you're just comparing to someone else, right? Because we're all about you know, keeping up with one another, who has the best, who has the most, you know, what have you. So the Ocean Jasper card says, schedule yourself in. In order to make the most of your life, you have to savor every moment of your life. And that means when you get up, make an occasion of everything. And you could do this in a very free flowing kind of way. You don't have to put pressure on yourself, but enjoy every moment. Enjoy Waking up in the morning, and I have a morning meditation if you want to check that out on my channel. Maybe first thing that you do before you get out of bed is you meditate. Thoroughly enjoy that. And then when you're making breakfast, make an occasion of it. The shower, you ought to see my shower. It's a little embarrassing, but I have products all over the place. Because <laughs> when I take a shower, it needs to be like a spa experience. And I have to be very nourishing to my hair and my skin and... Um, you know, special face soaps and scrubs, and it has to be good, right? Because that is something that I really, really savor about being human, right? And, you know, anything that you do throughout your day, you can make a beautiful moment out of it. And I would even dare say if, like, let's say in your career or with your family or what have you, start looking at the people around you, colleagues, uh, like I said, family, love partners, friends, all of that, and appreciate the soul that showed up to go through that moment with you. There's real magic happening around us all the time. And I don't mean magical thinking. 
but the true frequency magic of being human. So give yourself time every day. This says schedule yourself in. That might imply, you know, keep on with your busy schedule and just make sure you stop every few minutes and breathe. You could do that. But I, I would rather see you schedule yourself in the whole day every day. Okay. Then we have black kyanite set strong boundaries. So this is a lot of, you know, people telling you this is what you should be doing. Here's my expectation of you. A lot of you are dealing with that right now. If you chose this pile, give it some thought. I bet, you know, you have a picture of the life that you want to lead, but someone disagrees. And someone thinks that if they disagree, that that's the end all be all. <laughs> right? And Black Kyanite says, let that negativity be cleansed away. Just because someone says it doesn't make it true. Just because someone has an opinion doesn't mean that you have to listen to it. All right. So set those strong boundaries. Remember, put your foot down to anything that seems one-sided. Many of you who chose this pile, you're empaths. And I'm not a psychologist, but, you know, so check with a psychologist, but, you know, the little bit I understand of it, I would call it codependent, right? We have a tendency to be that way because we really feel that our whole purpose is to come here and to help humans, well, we're human too, but, you know, to help our fellow humans, I should say, to find beauty and grace and love and compassion and, you know, to flow within that experience instead of fighting against being human. And so that can get us caught up with people who need a lot of help. We need help too. And that's something that you need to discover, okay? So setting those strong boundaries, it's tough. I just had to set a boundary with somebody and it broke my heart, <laughs> broke my heart. But you know, I was in an awkward position. I didn't know what else to do. And I had to remember, you know, this is about me living in a happy existence as well, yes? So I wanna offer that. Where in your life can you set strong boundaries? Now, a strong boundary has little to do with yelling or getting cocky or having an attitude. When you give attitude or sarcasm or, you know, you yell, whatever, you know, passion is one thing. But when you're, like I said, giving that attitude, you're just showing your fear. A strong boundary is one that is truthful and honest and you've given it some thought, you've tuned in and realized, mm, no, this isn't going to work. And you can set boundaries lovingly. All right, then we have bloodstone, love this. Get up and get moving. So this has an air of, you know, a very protective quality as well. This is a stone that a lot of warriors tend to wear. And uh, it might feel like that sometimes, <laughs> where you, you feel like you're fighting against everything. So no fighting, get up and get moving. It says, you know, don't, you could take that quite literally if you're like, you know what, I do need to work on my health a little bit. <laughs> I do need to start exercising or, or what have you, moving your energy. But I also feel like get up, get moving, I mean, stop getting stuck in someone else's idea of what your existence should be. This is a very strong message for you. If you want to move forward, you need to let go of how you've been taught to think of yourself, <laughs> right? So get up, get moving, get up and get moving away from an old story, an old definition of yourself. Um, the message too is coming up, let go of the need for praise. That's interesting. Yeah, because some, of, okay, so here's an example I wanna give. If an author sits and writes a book strictly from a marketing standpoint, meaning they, they study the market, they, they take the pulse of what's trendy, and they write a book based on those trends. They write a book in even the style and the fashion that people might be able to easily read it. That can be an ego pursuit. They're just doing it to please others. They're just doing it to be popular. And you know what? In this world, we do reward that. And so those are the types of books that you do see on the New York Times bestseller list, right? But if somebody writes a book from their heart and soul, they say what is authentic to them. They put it in a voice that is authentic to them. 
as an author. You know, that's the kind of work that has a frequency. That's the kind of work that even though it might not get outside accolades, it's definitely help, helping to shift the collective consciousness. All right. So get up, get moving. Yes. Oh, and then we have rhodochrosite. Nice. I love this crystal. It is so pretty. Uh, rhodochrosite, remember your worth. <laughs> right? Look at this. Look at how these all kind of tie together. And rhodochrosite is all about self-love. Well, it's about love of all kinds. But <laughs> I think in this reading, it's about knowing, you know, because it says remember your worth. This is about you standing up and saying, no, I'm going to take a step towards my, my actual authentic uh, way of living, the way I want to live. And I'm going to love myself and I'm going to make time for myself. And if anybody tries to make me feel guilty because I don't want to hang out tonight because I would rather be home working on a project that makes me happy, <laughs> right? Uh, that's the kind of thing that we're talking about here. Laying down other people's wants and needs. Some of you have to like really go and like save people all the time. And this is a kind of energy that's saying you don't have to do that. People can fend for themselves a little bit more here. So then we have dignity. It's Dahlia and Orion. Orion is, I, so Dahlia would be the flower and Orion would be the butterfly. And dignity, this, look at that. Dignity comes right underneath set strong boundaries. It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> right? So dignity, the example I was giving with the novel writing. The person who writes from their heart and just tells the story that's within them that they are inspired to tell, they're coming from a place of dignity. Someone who's just trying to make money and, you know, play the earth game a little bit, I wouldn't say it's not 100% dignity, but, you know, it has a very different intention behind it. So everything that you want to do, if someone especially is trying to get you to do something where you could be the scapegoat, and you have to set that strong boundary, you're doing so out of dignity. And you're saying, no thank you. If any of you have ever worked in a corporate environment, I've gone through this, and you've dealt with a certain type of harassment, and it was like, if you do this for me, I will promote you. Dignity, okay? You are not an object, you are not a plaything, you can make it on your own, someone needs to hear that. Someone needs to hear that. Because I have a wide audience that, you know, a varied audience that watches these videos. So you do not have to give in to someone else's demands because they make you believe that they are the source of power. You are your own source of power. Look at that. I can't. <laughs> I got I did this for the last group too. I was like, oh, I put it down. I can't read it. It's Pride Amaryll Amaryllis. Gaudi Commodore. Hmm. Very cool. All right. So the card is pride. Pride and dignity. Right next to each other. You can take care of you. You don't need to bend over backwards for other people just so they will favor you. You don't need to play the earth game. I think that's really what this is talking about here. You're a warrior in your own right. It's not an ego thing. It's an energy thing. Okay. And you, this is all about your self-esteem. Look at the yellows and oranges in here, you can create when you know that you are worthy, okay? When you are worth, your ideas are worth something. That's it. Uh, your ideas are energetically important. Yes. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> so we have a third eye here. 27 reduces to nine. This is completion. You're done with something. You've learned the lessons. You're listening to your intuition for one, and not only that, but you're developing your psychic abilities or you're developing your intuition if you don't want to like go down the psychic path <laughs> necessarily. But this is definitely telling you your intuition is correct. For some of you, you can see this person looks like they're like, I don't know, it looks like they might be walking away from something. Yeah, walking away. So Tune into your intuition. There, again, there's a varied audience that are watching these videos, um, that is watching these videos, and you might not need to leave right now, but rather you might know that it needs to turn over. Something needs, you walk away from an old way. Okay? So yeah, watch. Hmm. Some of you are in a love partnership 
that it's not full of love. You have to love yourself. Your dignity and pride are being wounded all the time. This might be a narcissistically abusive relationship. Educate yourself on that. Again, as a disclaimer, I am not a psychologist. I'm not uh, a practitioner in that way. Uh, this is just a spiritual reading here for the good YouTube, okay? <laughs> right? But if you feel like you are in a situation, on a serious note, if you're in a situation like that, educate yourself, reach out for help, and recreate your life. Get a different picture going of what is right for you, okay? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. I hope it was helpful. Okay, group three. Let's see what you have going on. This is what you need to know the most right now. Okay, so your first card, oh, beautiful. It's Sunstone. Take pleasure in the things you do. This is interesting because this has been a very common kind of message for a couple of weeklies. The other groups kind of had this feel about it too, where there's this idea here that if you want to get to your true abundance, you have to understand your own self-worth, which is to say that you are worth the time to take care of yourself. Yes. So uh, I believe, I forget what group it was, but it may have been group two, but enjoying every little thing that you do and making it a moment, right? Whether it's breakfast or working out or uh, just sitting out on a balcony and having a cup of tea, you know, make it you time. Take pleasure in all of the things that you do. Now, for some of you out there, I, I think I have some stressed out parents. I, I specifically saw some mommies, but there are gonna be some daddies in there too. Caretakers, you're getting stressed out because you're getting burned out, yes? And so every day, some people out there need to hear this, whether you're a mommy or daddy or not, but it especially pertains to them. But for everybody, if you get up and you have a schedule for every single day and everything is so timed that you don't really engage in anything that you're doing, well then, yeah, you're going to be completely exhausted by the end of the day. But when you go and approach your work, your responsibilities, anything going on in your life with, oh, this is going to be fun. Let me see what I can do with this. What kind of thing, what kind of uh, family activity can we do tonight when all the kids get home? How can I take a different way to work? So it's, you know, just changing things up, <laughs> right? I think that's what this is talking about. Finding a way to enjoy everything, even what you would typically see as the mundane. Then we have Agate, get back into balance. That goes <laughs> right with that. So this is very Archangel Sandalfin kind of energy and also Haniel. I mean, a lot of the Archangels and of course your guardian angels as well, but the Archangels can really come in here and help you balance and not put pressure on yourself to make things happen. Not put pressure on you to be on, a, like I said, the tight schedule. It's gonna make you unhealthy. It's going to really start making you you know, it, it has an effect on your body, the stress, but it could also have you engaging in unhealthy activities, right? Um, especially if you have a, a schedule that's so busy, I'm guilty of this, where I pack so much into a day that I end up reaching for whatever is quick and easy for food, <laughs> right? Instead of taking time to savor the moment of creating food for myself and focusing on Look at how much I'm able to put into this, you know, like look at this beautiful salad I made. It's feeding my body well, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that is what we're talking about here with getting yourself into balance and calming down a little bit so that you can enjoy every little thing that you are doing. Oh, look at this. Wow. First of all, how gorgeous are these cards? <laughs> I just love these cards so much. So this is Angel Aura Quartz and the card says lighten up. So again, there's this huge long <laughs> storyline that's unfolding here about take more joy in your life. Now, Angel Aura, we were just talking about Archangels being able to help you. Angel Aura helps you to get in touch, okay? To help you get in touch with your angels. And so that you can savor every moment of your life, every moment of being human. And so this, this card also speaks to when we're getting too wound up in a story. How often have you come across somebody 
who just cannot let something go. I've been guilty of that. And, you know, instead of processing why I couldn't let it go, <laughs> I just kept talking about it, talking about it, and talking about it. And Angel Oracle Court says, how much are you investing in this dream world that we call reality? How much time and effort is being spent there? Now, don't get me wrong. There are going to be things that you need to get invested in because it is a part of your soul's contract. It's part of the lesson that you're going through. It's part of, um, or it might be important to someone else, right? And to your children, to your friends that you show up and you be there and you listen or what have you. So I'm not saying just like run off to a mountaintop and don't talk to anybody and just meditate all day. This is you being able to handle you know, a regular 3D life, whatever that looks like for you, whatever regular means to you, but observing and not getting so invested in it. Remembering that there is a soul self, an authentic self that you can always connect back into. Yes, lots of angel communication. Look at that. Okay, so we have rainbow obsidian, heal your heart. Look how pretty that crystal is. That's amazing. So look at this beautiful very loving kind of energy here. Very loving kind of energy. It's like spiritually loving as well. Grounded, balanced. Yes, balancing the lower chakras with the higher chakras. They connect at the heart space. Where can you find more love? And I don't mean love from another person, but where can you find things that you love to do? How can you love yourself better? How can you show up for yourself? Yes. And how can you finally let go of some of the painful memories? Again, I'm not a psychologist. So if you need to do some trauma healing and treat the mental body, that's where you would need to go to a therapist. But if we're talking about energetically, spiritually, we will hang on to things because we feel like it's taken a, a chunk out of our soul. And I've actually heard people argue, oh no, it broke my soul. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. They're talking about a human experience and claiming that it ruined their very essence. That's how invested in a human story we get. That's how convinced we are that this human reality is it. This is reminding you that you are completely capable of regenerating. A lot of people have been through trauma. Horrific things happen to people. God forbid, I wish it didn't happen. But you have the ability to reform your own past, to look at it and to allow some of that hurt and effect to melt away. It's, it's always gonna be there. Don't get me wrong, it's always gonna be there. But how you handle it, what kind of effect it has on you when it pops back up in your mind, when your heart is healed, it'll become a memory, but it won't have like a shock effect on you every time it comes up. Again, you might want to work with a therapist if that is uh, in fact your story. But don't take the human, like if you're having a fight with a coworker, for example, don't get obsessed, <laughs> right? Do not get obsessed about that. That is just draining your energy, okay? If you're stressed about, and I hear this all the time, how dare you, Michelle, tell us not to stress. Don't you know what's going on in the world? I do know what's going on in the world. <laughs> and I work with spirit. I work with angels to bring things forward that we need to know. And what they're telling us is that the more invested you get energetically, the more it's going to drain out. And that these things that are happening need to come to pass. It's teaching us something. Can you heal your heart? Can you find the beauty in what is happening? Now, I don't mean find beauty in horrible events necessarily. You know, that's maybe a lot to ask of a human being. But can you learn to cope better? Can you learn to handle things with more grace instead of allowing it to rob your energy? That's really what we're talking about here. Okay. Then we have friendship, freesia, green veined. I think this is uh Shirox's. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but there is that. 
Friendship. Can you be your own best friend? Can you connect on a deeper level with other people? Okay. Are you locking others out? Because maybe you do feel very bruised. Maybe you do feel very attacked at every angle. And this is saying, no, you have allies. And that doesn't mean you have allies so that they can gang up against your perceived enemy. But rather, there's a beautiful possibility here for connection. Okay? So you can have friends all over the world. <laughs> you can have soul-level friendships. Uh, you know, or you can choose to block that kind of connection out, thinking you have to do everything on your own, right? We, a lot of us do that, thinking we're on our own for everything. And yet there are people there who want to know us. There are people there who want to connect. There are people there who aren't just out to use us, <laughs> right? Because I feel like some of you who chose this group, you might have those kinds of experiences where, you know, people just want to come in and take, 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 take. It's all about self-preservation. Me, 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 me. And that can be very hard. Or do you need to check yourself? Are you going down that road? Me first, me first, me first. I'm the most important. My needs outweigh everybody else's needs. <laughs> right? So I think the idea here is to ease up and see where you can bring more enjoyment into your life through connection. Okay? Then we have spirituality, cherry blossom, Chinese peacock. So if that symbolism has some meaning for you. There you go. So spirituality, again, it's right underneath angel aura. <laughs> it's telling you to lighten up, raise your frequency. The more you allow a human story to drag you down, whether it's, I don't like my job. I don't like my partner. I don't like my health. I don't like that. I don't weigh a hundred pounds. I don't like that. I'm getting older. I don't like that. I'm too young. I don't like, you know, whatever. I mean, we could sit here. <laughs> I, I think it would be a cool scientific study to see how much time we waste wishing we look like someone else or wishing that we had something that someone else had. I bet it'd be a lot, right? So this is saying, focus on the spiritual aspect of yourself, connect into that soul self, raise your frequency. Do not get invested in fights. Do not get invested, invested in, I said infested. Oh, that's an, <laughs> that's an interesting slip. You know, you get invested in a fight and it's like an infestation. Gross. So let's not do that, okay? And then we have the answer, the heart space, the heart chakra. The number is 18. If you're into numerology, reduces to nine. You are done with the old way. Let that love in. This is telling you to open your heart. And with everything that you're experiencing right now, this is very much saying the solution is love. So loving your life, finding a way to love your life. Because a lot of times people just, they'll hear that, they'll scoff at it and dismiss it. And you're going to have bad days. It's okay. You will have bad days. But you can always come back to love. Even after, you know, a day where your boss is yelling at you and, you know, you feel like you couldn't do anything right, what have you, you can come home. You can do a clearing exercise with Archangel Michael. This is very Archangel Raphael. This is so Archangel Raphael, <laughs> right? Definitely. Uh, and, and helping you reconnect, bringing your energy uh, from the crown and even the soul star, okay, chakra, and from the earth star chakra and letting them combine in the heart space. Yes. And when you do this, find, find something to be in love with. You know, can you fall in love with nature? Can you fall in love with a new routine? Can you fall in love with, you know, a lot of people, I hear it all the time. They're like, oh, I need love. I need love. I need love. I need love. I'm like, well, that's why you don't have it. When you need love, you need someone to make you feel better. I mean, love can be incredibly healing, don't get me wrong. And it can be very eye-opening. But when you hold someone else accountable for your happiness, that's unsteady ground. And so when they leave, or if they don't fulfill your expectations, what's gonna happen to you? You're gonna fall apart. Don't do that to yourself. This is love all throughout your life in every moment and being accountable for loving yourself. All right. So I hope that was helpful, guys. We're going to leave it there. Sending you all so much love and take care.